Hey Glen fam, welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine Roma here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I get a nice, natural, glowy look. I've really been loving this look lately. It does not take that long and I tend to gravitate towards this look quite often just because I like how natural and glowy it is. So yeah, if you want to see how I get my natural, everyday, glowy look, then just keep on watching. First of all, I've got nothing on my face. Um, these are my lash extensions right now. Uh, I did get them done about two weeks ago and I got them done by Eyelashed in Canberra. And I suggest you guys all check her out. She does amazing work. I got a set of hybrids, uh, which are a mix between the classic lashes and the Russian volumes. So they are some fanned out ones and also individual ones. I'll insert a photo of what they look like right after I got them done. This is actually two weeks after getting them done. If you're in Canberra or you are visiting Canberra, make sure you check out Eyelash. She does amazing lashes. But be sure to check out her Instagram page. So I'm starting off with a fresh base. Just washed my face. Skin has got no product on it yet. Um, what I like to start off doing just to get my face a little bit hydrated is I like to use the MAC Prep and Prime um, and I like to just go ahead and give myself a bit of a spritz. I find this like really keeps my face like really refreshed and it does create a nice base for the makeup to lay on top of. After that has been put down, I'm just gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my primer. The next thing I like to do is go in with a primer. Now this is a glowy look, so I'm gonna be going in with my MAC Strobe Cream. This is really great. Uh, I actually only use it on these high points of my face and it just creates that really nice glowy look just kind of helps accentuate the high parts of your face make them look glowier as well and apply that using my hands and just like pat it in so the next thing i'm going to go in with is the becca backlight priming filter this is a really nice glowy primer and so it is just a really radiant primer and it gives you that overall really pretty natural radiant look so i'm going to just get some onto the back of my hand <laughs> Okay, so I'm now gonna go in with one of my favorite foundations. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is really, really nice and radiant and pretty and it stays all day. So I am gonna go ahead and use this because it does give such a pretty radiant look. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my face using a damp beauty blender. <laughs> So now that that foundation is down, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. What I like to take is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot, and this is in the shade Soft Ochre. And it just creates a really nice base for the eyeshadow to lay onto. So I just like to take a little bit onto my fingers, and I like to just pat it on top of my eyes. So now my eyelids are primed and all that discoloration is gone from my eyelids. Um, I will now go ahead and apply my concealer. Okay, so the concealer I'm going to be using is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is the new one from Too Faced that has launched recently. I'm in the shade Vanilla. These are a little bit light, but I do like to use my concealer to highlight my face. What I like to do is just highlight like underneath my eyes. I just use the wand. And I drag it out like that. Just highlighting down my nose, up the top and the chin, of course. And I'm going to apply a little bit more under the under eye. I'm not going to apply too much, though. I don't want to look cakey. Um, I'm going to apply some to the cupid's bow as well. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that in using my beauty blender. As you can see, that 
concealer is like super full coverage it gives a really nice coverage but it is not a drying concealer and it still is a very glowy one makes you look nice and refreshed okay. so now usually what i would do if i was going for a more matte look is i would set my entire face and i would bake under my eyes so i'm not going to bake because i want to look as glowy as possible and i find by baking it kind of makes your face look a little bit too powdery so i'm not gonna bake uh, i'm just gonna set some of my face with like a pressed powder so next what i want to use is the master strobing highlighter by maybelline this is in the shade deep gold i do like to use this because i want to look super glowy and i also want to add a powder on top too so I'm just applying that gold highlight to the cheekbones. Okay, so I'm now gonna just take some of my MAC Studio Fix powder and I'm gonna just take a small Morphe Y11 and I'm gonna just take some of that and set these areas. I don't wanna set it too much because I do wanna look as nice and glowy as possible, but I do like to set the under eye so that it does not crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm now going to do the brows and I'm not going to do my full brow routine because I want them to look kind of natural and nice. I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up using a spoolie. Okay, so I'm going to just do my brows and I'm going to take the L'Oreal Brow Artiste Expert and I'm going to just quickly do my brows. And then I just like brush the product up using the spoolie that it comes with um, up through the brows and I'll go and like just add a bit more every now and then. I do my brows pretty quickly um, for everyday wear because in the morning I don't usually have a lot of time. I also like to use the Queen of Brows. This is the Majestic Brow Mascara. It just adds that extra volume and makes your like eyebrows look really nice and full and feathery and somewhat bushy. See, so it gives texture to them and kind of keeps them in place. So they just stay in place like that. Um, and it makes them look really nice and natural. So I really do love this product and it is really cheap. <laughs> Yeah, so for this look today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And I'm going to use the shade Rolling in Dough to set my eyeshadow primer. Looking at this fluffy Morphe R40 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Rolling in Dough. I'm going to just set the eyeshadow primer. <laughs> I'm going to be dipping into my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I like to take the shade Eden. It's a nice peachy shade. I like to take it into the transition. And so you see that's like a really nice, um, pretty transition shade and it's really warm tone it does kind of add a bit of depth to the eye look. i'm going to go back into the chocolate gold palette into the shade so bougie take some of that and just kind of buff that into the transition shade okay i'm next going to take the shade coco truffle which is a nice matte brown and i'm just going to apply it more so to the outer edges apply that using a morphe m506 brush into Cocoa Truffle and I'm taking it on the outside and focusing it on like the outer corners. Now because this is a really nice glowy look, I'm gonna then take a shimmer, take my Sigma E55 blending brush and I spray like some MAC Fix Plus. This is the shade Famous and it's a really nice goldy bronze shade and then I basically just pack it on. <laughs> then like to do is I like to go into the shade so bougie and take it just like under my lash line I do like to add an inner corner highlight too even though this is an everyday look I do like to have a blinding inner corner highlight and what I like to do is I spray my little brush and then I like to go into an eyeshadow and I will take the shade gold dipped from the Too Faced chocolate gold palette and just place it on the inner corner like so so that is the eye look completed and we are nearly finished with the look so for the highlighter today i'm going to be going in with la vie and glow by l'oreal this is in the shade warm glow and these are like oh, 
I'm pretty shook at how pigmented these are. Look at that. Like, and I bought it for half price at Chemist Warehouse. And it reminds me of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Um, and they are just, they swatch so beautifully and they are so pretty. So I'm going to go with my trusty Morphe M510. I'm going to just pick on that second shade there and just add it there. As you can see, that is beautiful blinding highlight. Now I like to go in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is in the shade Tantastic. I like to just take my Morphe Y3 now because this is a more of a natural look. I'm not going to so much contour. I'm going to more like bronze up my skin. Um, just add a bit of a warm glow um, and some depth to those cheekbones. But I'm not so much contouring. And now for this look, I'm not going to be adding blush because it's more of a glowy look. And on a daily basis, I usually don't even apply blush. So I'm now going to go ahead and apply a lipstick. For the lips, I like to apply this really nice nude shade. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the matte liquid lipstick formula. This is in the shade Kiss. It is such a beautiful, soft pink nude. So yeah, that is the final look. It's just a really pretty, nice, everyday makeup look. It is really nice and glowy and I really like it. Oh, I then like to set it with my All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay because I don't want this going anywhere. I need it to last the whole day. Okay, so that is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing how I get this look. And also I did not apply a mascara because I do have lash extensions on, but if you do want to apply a mascara and don't have lash extensions, you're more than welcome to do so. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like it, make sure you smash that subscribe button and give me a huge thumbs up and make sure you click the bell so you're subscribed to my channel and notified for every time I post a video. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful day or night wherever you are in this beautiful world. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.